Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels. So if you're watching my lifestyle channel, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Hi, how are you all doing? I hope everybody's as well as possible. And um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Um, and a big thumbs up and thank you for doing so. I love talking about travel and uh, lifestyle. Um, Today I'm going to be uh, doing a video on uh, Travel News UK, Exciting Facts, January 2024, Part 3. So uh, let's jump right into it, kicking off with uh, number one is the Daily Express, Ryanair issues flight warnings for British tourists as uh, they could face delays uh, travelling uh, from major UK airports, um, that is, but it's always, if you're travelling with any airline, um, uh, to check um, if your flight is still, run, uh, still, still running or has a delay. Um, And, um, well, hopefully it will be fixed as soon as possible. And uh, number two, um, News BBC, um, UK weather warning in place after sub-zero temperatures across the country. An amber warning uh, for the heavy snow is in place in Scotland um, or the far north of Scotland. Um, after most of the UK had the coldest night of the winter so far and yes it has definitely been cold um, the bonus is here in the Midlands um, it's nice and sunny and um, it isn't snowing and raining but um, again the, um, if you're in the or going to uh, Scotland, especially like the far north, then there is an amber weather warning um, in place. So, I mean, it could impact um, uh, transport like um, uh, trains or um, if you're travelling by car or uh, buses or, um, again, it could again impact on schools as well whether they close um so um you just need to ch uh, check up on um things like that um especially um if you've got say an airline or train um booked or whatever check that it is still uh, running um number three well, hopefully they are, uh, they are still running. And also check that the school's uh, not clo uh, closed either. Um, number three, Business Travel News Europe, UK-based um, SNES looks for ways to cut emissions at most small to medium-sized businesses in the UK are looking to take measures this year to encourage their employees uh, to choose more sustainable uh, modes of transport, according to um, a new survey, um, such as, say, walking or, if you can walk, uh, like I do, um, most of the time um to Morrison's or um go by bike um or train if uh, possible um and just di different measures that are more sustainable um than traveling by car all the time but obviously um you uh, some people really can't uh, can't help but travel by car um, especially if they are not on a, a bus or a train route or um, it, to get to uh, work, um, then obviously uh, you do have to travel by car then, or if you can no longer, or you can no longer cycle or walk to work. Um, 
then obviously you do need to travel by car. Another, um, if you're travelling in a city, a lot of lots of cities in the UK have um, trams, and there's also the underground um, in London, um, which um, again a lot of people use um, for travelling around. And uh, number four, the independent, uh, January and February, train strike dates, everything you need to know about the disruption. Um, the train drivers belong to ASLEF, uh, will uh, stop work region by region over the course of, a week, of the week between Tuesday the 30th of January and Monday the 5th of February. Thousands of uh, trains are likely to be cancelled um, each day. Again, if you're travelling um, by train uh, within this period, then again, uh, you may need to cancel um, or move if you can to a different date or find a different mode of transport to get to your destination. Um, again, it is really sad, um, but hopefully, hopefully after Monday the 5th of February, um, things will get back to normal. Um, fingers crossed. And uh, num number five, TTG Media, Jet 2, uh, winter weather may affect the UK operations this week. Um, the airline and opera um, operators say it's uh, working closely with the Met Office, uh, which is issued a law of yellow weather warnings uh, covering um the north of the UK, which is uh, Scotland. Um, again, if you're travelling by any airline or train, um, again, um, check that your um that it is going ahead, um, or if it's uh, delayed or whatever, and while well, hopefully, um your train or airline won't be delayed too long um, if it is delayed. Um, fingers crossed. And, um, well, I hope to, you get to your destination um, as, so, as, as soon and as safely as possible. So I would like to say thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow for another budget travel uh, news vid video tomorrow so please keep watching have a as good day and night um and uh, thank you for watching and bye for now thank you bye